Hey, what's up, everybody? It's um, it's half time of the Syracuse UNC Asheville game right now. Syracuse is obviously losing by four points. Fat Melo is not playing, and Asheville Asheville just won't miss. Yeah, they're not rebounding on the offensive end, but in the second half they step it up. They really have a shot to beat Syracuse. I think this is only the um the seventh time that a 16 seed has actually been leading a number one seed at the break. So we're gonna see what happens. 34-30 Asheville. Um, let me check out some. Few of the stats on the box score real quick. Yeah, JP Prim, he has eight points. Quinard Jackson has eight. Um, Keith Hornsby, he's he made a pretty big layup. He jacked up a three, but other than that, they've been playing really well. Um Syracuse can't get the looks they want. Deion Waiters still has twelve. But Asheville's turned the ball over nine times, so Syracuse's zone is definitely getting into them when they do break it down. You know, they're kinda they're finding easy layups and finding ways to score. Now, a result earlier that, or not a result, but <laughs> at halftime of the Murray State game, Colorado State was actually beating Murray by one, 24-23. And Murray State, uh, Paul Horning, his son or his grandson or someone in his family, Pierce Horning, he had finished with 17 rebounds. He was, he impressed me. He was hustling after every loose ball on the floor, you know, from the get-go. He was just, he was all over the place. So, Murray State ended up winning, but... You know, Colorado State really impressed me. They have a lot to build on in that program. Uh, Jesse Carr, their point guard, he did a pretty good job against Isaiah Cannon when he had to guard him. Um, Louisville, last year they lost to... <laughs> last year they lost to Moorhead State and Kenneth Free. I thought that Louisville this year might actually fall short against Davidson because Rick Pitino's teams can never get out of the first round, it seems like. And, you know, they're not overwhelmingly talented. That's maybe why they went 10 in the Big East. But they've started clicking at the right time. They obviously won the Big East Championship or in the automatic bid. But Davidson, they built a pretty good program. And they have a few good guards. And their big man is pretty versatile. So, yeah, big one there for the Cardinals. Now they're going to the second round of the tournament. Um, Montana, Davids, Montana, Wisconsin. That game was really... I thought it would be a lot different. Wisconsin's slow tempo... It makes them vulnerable to easy upsets, to get upset really easily. But Jordan Taylor, he was just all over the place. He was grabbing for, grabbing offensive rebounds. He was doing everything. Kansas State Southern Miss, Magruder had 30 points. <laughs> Kansas State's defense, I have them going far. I I wish I could have changed in my bracket when I learned Fat Mello was ineligible. Well, I could have, but I kind of got sidetracked and I didn't really think of it. But Kansas State has the potential to play with any team in the country, and that's including the Wildcats of Kentucky. So look out for them as they head into the next round to play the winner of the Syracuse game. Um, another game I'm looking forward to. Uh, I didn't. <laughs> another game I'm looking forward to tonight is um, Indiana and New Mexico State. New Mexico State in the WAC championship. Yeah, they played Louisiana Tech, but they completely destroyed them. It, they are so athletic, and I don't know how Indiana is gonna, you know, defend all that athleticism for forty minutes. As oh, Long Beach State just took a five-two lead, I'm really, <laughs> I have Long Beach State going to the second round in my bracket. Some of them, some of my brackets, I'm going to the Sweet Sixteen, but this one I have them losing in the second round to the Cardinals. Louisville, Louisville losing to Michigan State, and yeah. Um. Anyway, that Kansas State, yeah, they're gonna play the winner of the Syracuse Asheville game, but will they play UNC Asheville? I don't. I don't exactly know about that. And Texas, Florida State, that's not an easy game to pick necessarily. I mean, not Texas, Florida State. I'm sorry about that. Texas, Cincinnati, because Texas is, they're an 11 seed. Mike Kambungo, he's really, he's one of those freshmen. He's improved as the season goes along. You know, he's making a lot better decisions. At the beginning of the year, he's playing really out of control. And Cincinnati, they're a team that after the brawl, it seemed like Xavier kind of went downhill. Cincinnati got better. They made it all the way to the Big East title game, and now they're in the tournament. St. Bonaventure's big man, he is re he's really impressed me. He's he's just all over the place out there. Um they were their win against Xavier really <laughs> really changed my mind about them that they could actually they could be a potential upset threat. I, th I thought you know they would be just another team in the tournament. But St. Bon Bonaventure's big man, he's really talented. Um Andrew Nicholson, I read about him in an article before the season started and he didn't disappoint in that championship game against against Xavier so that's another big game to look forward to tonight and I, I'm gonna leave right now I'm gonna go take my dog on a walk I know this video was done really terribly and I have this on my left this isn't anything uh this this isn't any disease so don't worry it's just uh probably caught some dirt in my lip or something and it 
scabbed up. I don't know, but it was a cold sore. I don't know why I'm telling you guys about my cold sore, but <laughs> uh, just check back up. I think I'm going to do a daily wrap of the tournament each day. So um, next time my video will be a lot more well done. I'm just trying to do this and get back in there for the Long Beach State game and to catch the second half of the Syracuse game, which is at halftime. Still hasn't started yet, apparently. BYU is now losing to Marquette by 13, but I'm getting off topic. Uh, so everyone have a great day, and let's all hope that a 16 seed can finally upset a one. All right, peace.